Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 19 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated inform Douglas Costa. So if you do want to go and pick up this card and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay anywhere between 16,000 to 300,000 coins on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So now moving into the in-game stats, he's got 98 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, 94 agility along with 86 curve the finishing at 68 is a bit low but he does also have 80 stamina so this guy can run all game without getting tired so guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the highlights for 87 rated inform douglas costa the first pro i could from this card was his acceleration now this guy's acceleration is absolutely insane he has 98 acceleration what is just on another level this guy's acceleration is probably some of the best on the game so now moving into the second pro for inform douglas costa and that is his shot power now costa's finishing as i've already mentioned isn't really the best at 68 but the thing that really makes this card stand out when it comes down to shooting is that shot power. Now it is around 88, what is pretty good, um, and you can definitely feel it in game, especially on that stronger left foot. So, you know, even if you're in front of goal, you don't really feel like you feel confident finishing with him. Just absolutely smash it as hard as you can. And a lot of the times it does actually fly in. And even when using his right foot, it's still pretty decent at finishing. He does only have a three-star weak foot, what isn't the best. But in front of goal, his right foot was decent for me just because the amount of power he's able to generate. And sometimes it does catch the keepers off guard. And then the final pro I could find with Douglas Costa was his dribbling. Now, as I already mentioned, all five-star skillers, they usually have really good dribbling. And Costa is no no exception you know keeps it really close to his feet um, really good at changing direction quickly because of the high agility and then also has great ball control so his first touch is very good and then the only con I could find with this card was his strength. So Costa only has around 50 strength in game, but is not very good at all. So you will realise that it does get pushed off the ball quite a lot, what can be frustrating. But apart from that overall, this card is very good. I still do think that it's a bit too expensive, and I think there could be better options in the left wing position um, for like a cheaper price. Especially, you know, there is that player of the year, Brazilian guy. Even though he does only have the 4 star skill moves where Costa has a 5 star, apart from that these cards are very similar. Um, so I'd probably wait a few days or maybe a few weeks until this card does drop in price before you do go and pick him up. So now moving into the work rate, he has a high medium, what is pretty good for a winger. Um, you know, he was always in the correct position when playing in that left forward. And then he has the 5 star skill moves, as I've already mentioned, the 3 star weak foot. And then he is left footed playing on the left side. So he does usually have to cut inside and then cut back outside onto that stronger left foot to take the shots or in game you could move him to the right side of the pitch and then use him as a right forward or a right winger um, but overall yeah this card is very very good um, I think he's going to be like a great link to Ronaldo obviously because they both play for Juventus also like Quadrado on the right Ronaldo up front and Costa on the left could be a very deadly partnership as well Costa is Brazilian so if you're looking to fit this guy into your Brazilian skill squads it will work very nicely so guys, this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So moving into the overview for 87 rated inform Costa, as you can see on the screen I've rated him 8 on every single category, enjoyment, competitiveness, scaling and overall. Now the reason is I just think he's a very solid and very good player, um, enjoyment wise because you know he's got the 5 star skill moves, really nice shooting apart from the finishing, competitiveness wise I definitely think this guy's foot champs ready, if you do apply the correct chem style to help improve that finishing this card will be very good, scaling wise again I think he's very good you know great agility, great dribbling, keeps it really close to his feet and just an all round a very good 5 star skiller and then I think a fair overall rating is an 8. I think the only thing that needs improving with this card is his finishing but once it gets boosted up and maybe a bit more strength um, once those two things do get boosted up this card will be one of the best cards on the game. So guys this has been the player review if you enjoyed it and want to see more FIFA 19 player reviews on my channel leave a like on the video and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time.